the believers walk of faith. We are saved by grace through faith. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9. For by grace are you saved through faith. It is the gift of God. It is not of works lest anyone should boast. So you see God gives salvation freely by grace. He offers it to us. But on our part we receive by faith. Everything must be done by faith. Or in faith or through faith. Everything I do in life must be consistent with what I believe. That means how you think, how you speak, how you act is consistent with what you believe. Faith is key to receiving from God. What is the importance of faith uh, in the life of the believer? Faith is important. It's a key to receiving from God. Faith is the means to gain victory. First John chapter 5 and verse 4. For whatever is born of God overcomes the world. You see, God is saying, as a believer, you are born of God. And God is saying, you've been born to win. You've been born to overcome. Number five. Faith is our shield against the enemy. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, Walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him, being steadfast in the faith. Yes, he's about like a roaring lion, looking for opportunity uh, uh, to come in and, 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 and get us in a surprise. But the Bible says, you be strong in your faith. You resist him, be firm in your faith in God. We receive the promise of the Spirit by Faith, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles in Christ Jesus, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. He said, when I go to heaven, I will send the promise of my Father, the outpouring of the Holy Spirit, or the baptism of the Holy Spirit. He says, available to all. But how do we receive? He says, we receive the promise of the Spirit by faith. We exercise spiritual gifts. We minister God's power and we see miracles by faith through each of our lives. And we want to go beyond that because Acts was the beginning. It was not the end. And God always finishes much better than he started. Romans 12 verse 6. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion to our faith. It says, Let's exercise those gifts. Let's use it. But it is exercised in proportion to our faith. In Galatians chapter 3 verses 2. This only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith? How did you receive the Holy Spirit? It was by faith. God is the great sanctifier. And when he comes, he will do the work of cleaning up. Amen. So don't put these rules on people. Because we receive the promise of the Spirit not by works, but by faith. It's His grace from our side, faith. Amen. So if we receive the promise of the Spirit by faith, we must fight the good fight of faith. Fight the good fight of faith. A good fight is a fight that's worth fighting for. Some battles are not worth fighting. Don't waste your time. Just walk away from it. Because it's not, it doesn't matter. It doesn't amount to anything. But this fight is a good fight. It's worth engaging in. It's worth being there. Fighting the good fight of faith. Another reason why it's a good fight is because it's a fight that you know you're going to win. So this fight of faith means it's a fight for faith. And it's a fight in faith. It's a fight for faith. I mean, the one thing the devil wants to get out of you is your faith in God. That's what he's after. He wants to get us, give up our faith in God. But you're saying, I will not, devil. I will not. I refuse to give up on my faith in God. 